Hi Stampers! Today I will be sharing some fantastic fun folds for Father's Day, masculine cards, all who love to barbecue or eat barbecue, and all those who enjoy having fun summer gatherings. These are the two cards we'll be playing with today. It's a flap card that's secured by this lower tab, and the other one features our new in colors, Just Jade. This one also opens up this way and is secured by this flap. So you'll get a sneak peek at our new catalog in colors debuting June 3rd. So here's the new catalog. If you don't already have yours and would love to get one, please contact me and I'll be happy to get one to you. And we'll also be playing with a fun new tool. It's a lovely punch. It looks like this. Today we'll be featuring our outdoor barbecue set, which is retiring. It's a fun set that has all kinds of neat sayings and images, perfect for any outdoor gathering, for congratulations that you can say well done, birthdays, and so much more. We're going to start with these measurements here. And feel free to take a screenshot of these so you can follow along at your leisure using your own favorite stamp sets. We're going to start with a four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half by matching the corners together. I hold it and give it a good press with my bone folder going side then up like in an L shape. I wanted to keep this simple so to do so I'm just going to cut off two and three quarters inches from the front of the card. So two and three quarters inches like so. And there are two blades. The darker one is the cutting one. The lighter one is the scoring one. So we just go ahead and bring that down and you can use any cutter that works for you and it leaves, up, leaves us with these two pieces. We're going to put this one aside on the left hand side and then we're going to do some fun embossing. You can use any of your favorite embossing folders. Today I'm going to use one of our brick patterns and one little tip I like to give is to make any notes that you need on a post-it and stick it on your embossing folder. You can even put notes about layering as well. We have several fun brick or wood type ones that would be perfect for this occasion. This is one that I think is retiring or has retired, but there's a wonderful 3D brick one that is available in the catalog that you can order. You're going to take and slide the cardstock in, making sure that the edge or the fold of your card goes all the way down to the start of your pattern. Once that's in place, we will put it on our platform. If you're using the old style, it's tab one. And you'll simply sandwich it. Place one cutting pad on the bottom. and then the embossing folder, and then the second cutting pattern on, excuse me, cutting plate on top. When you're all done, it's going to look like this. Isn't that a great pattern? So this is going to be our card base. Let's just go ahead and set that aside and work on the focal image. We're going to start with a larger piece and it asks you to take or put, uh, cut three pieces of Whisper White cardstock. And actually, I'm going to put it on here so you can see what I'm doing here. There'll be three pieces. So we're going to start with our largest piece. We're going to take that great barbecue image and use my black memento ink. Now you can tap, tap, tap. And use the full surface of the ink pad, tap gently. And then you'll center, oops, 
center the image. And stamp. There you are. So that's our first image. Set that aside, and now you have two smaller pieces, and they should be the same width. However, you will notice that one is a, a little bit taller than the other, so take the, ne the next tallest one, and we're going to do some fun images on there. So we're going to take the burger and the steak, and we're going to use the soft suede ink, and just cut, uh, we're going to stamp some random images on there. So what I'm going to do is start with my steak piece and just stamp it somewhere on that larger of the two pieces, like so. And then take the burger using the soft suede ink, tap, tap, and stamp one here. Oh, let's do another steak one next to it. And this time I want to turn the stamp slightly. Stamp at an angle there. Going back to my burger and maybe do a little bit. And we're just randomly filling in the space, but it's perfectly fine to leave some empty space in between. Set that aside and we move on to our third image. This time we're going to take real red and the ketchup bottle. And again, I'm gonna put it, oh no, we're not, we're gonna do it here. All right, so we're gonna tap, tap, tap. And I'm just gonna put one in the center now leave some space, and because I, it's so difficult to line things up, I'm just going to dance it slightly higher so that it doesn't have to be lined up. We put one on each side of that. Now you are going to want to wash this off. To do that, I stamp off the extra ink, and then I use my chamois cloth. It looks like this. It's well loved, but as you use it, you just um, as it starts to get inky, you just rinse it off under water, and it's good to go. So you wash and you dry there. All right, now we're going to use our crushed curry color, and I want to add some more. This time it's going to be a mustard bottle, so I want to stamp off and a little bit down there, and we're just stamping in between the ketchup bottles. So now we have ketchup and mustard. Isn't that fun? All right. We're going to take these three and we're going to layer it on a piece of black cardstock. So you'll take your favorite adhesive. I'm using tape, but you can use any adhesive that you like. And we're going to take our piece of black cardstock and we're going to start with the barbecue image. When you're placing tape or adhesive, you want to make sure that you place tape in the corners. And I take like one inch pieces and park it right in the corner. And then we're going to put that barbecue along the edge so that there should be a, an equal border on the sides, top, and bottom approximately. All right, then we're going to take the burger image. And this two pieces of tape will be good enough for this, or adhesive of any sort. And I'm going to park that towards the top. And again, looking for the even um, mat along the top and sides on this one. And then the last one are the ketchup mustard bottles. Putting it at the very bottom. So we have a nice color block type design. And it looks like that. But now we want to add a little color to the barbecue. And online you can watch people do all kinds of fun coloring, either with um, color pencils or Stampin' Blends or just regular markers. But today I thought I would show you a little shortcut. What you'll do is you take a scrap of real red cardstock and we're going to go back to that barbecue and this time we're going to ink up primarily the top part tap 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 and then we just need the top part of that barbecue press straight down lift straight up 
And all we'll do is we'll take scissors and fussy cut just the top part of the barbecue, like so. So you zip around all the way, and when you're done, you end up with the fun little image that looks like this. We're going to take this, let me put that away so I don't put my hands in it, and we are going to adhere it right on top of that barbecue. If you want to, you can also pop it off with some Stampin' Dimensionals to give some added oomph. And we're going to tape it down. So you get an instant pop of color without having to do any coloring. Just a fun, quick little shortcut. All right, we're gonna set that aside for a minute. And we are going to do a little decorative strip. So here we're going to use the color Daffodil. And we want to do, do a little border along the edge. Now, depending on how much detail you want, you can decide whether you want to use a Versamark pad or the crushed curry color. So what you can do to give yourself a little shortcut is to take your images and place them, a cluster of images, right on the block. So I'm going to put my little hamburger here. I took the images of the burger, the flame, the piece of corn, and the shish kebab. And we're just going to take our crushed curry ink, top it in crushed curry ink, and just stamp it along the edge. So you can rotate it if you want to, just to kind of give it a different color or look. A variety of different looks and then I'm going to finish off maybe with this and it looks like I could use a little something in the corner so maybe adding a little shish kebab and there you are you've made your own little designer paper using the cluster of images we're going to take this strip and we're going to simply tape it along the edge again you want to put adhesive on the back side Corners are the most important, and since it's a long strip, I'm going to just put a piece right at the top, and then along the edge. When I go to place this on my base card, I want to leave a little edge on the crumb cake piece. So it looks like that. Very fun. All right, now we want to work on our saying. So there is a cool one that says, a dad like you is rare. We're going to take a strip of daffodil, oh, excuse me, of a whisper white cardstock. That's just half an inch. I'm sure everyone has loads of these left over from when you cut for projects. And we're going to use our black memento ink, tap, tap, tap. And you're going to stamp straight down and lift straight up. All right. So what you end up with is something that looks like this. And what we're going to do is just to add a fun little diagonal cut to that. And set that aside. So we have our saying ready. The last thing we want to do is to take that crumb cake scrap and the steak image. I'm going to stamp that right along the edge here. Like so. And just quickly fussy cut. This is really easy to do because it's mainly straight edges. Of course it says dad like you is rare so we want to add a little color to this by just simply using our sponge dauber in some of that real red ink. So you notice we move the paper or the cardstock around as we zip around. There's our little stake. We're going to tap the dauber. Oops, let me move this in frame so you can see tap, tap. And this color is pretty dark or can be pretty dark, so I'm just going to tap it off. 
and just give it a little tap to make it look like a rare steak. Isn't that sweet? A little color. My husband likes it medium rare, so that's pretty rare. All right, let's go ahead and put the card all together. So the first thing we want to do is to put, I like to kind of check out the spacing of everything before I put adhesive on everything. So here's our saying with our steak, and we're going to take the image and place it towards the top here, like so. All right, once you're happy with how everything is placed, we're gonna start, and we know that the image is gonna to go towards the top, so you can place some adhesive right along the edge of the card, like so. Because I wanna make sure that when I'm all done, I do not have any adhesive. I, will, I only want adhesive on this half of the main image, not on this half. So we're going to go ahead and place a tape in a U shape or your adhesive in a U shape on the side of the card that you want adhesive. And then you already have the centerpiece to hold it in place. And then we simply center it like so. And then to put this down, we want to put either, um, now because I'm using this flap, this saying to hold the flap down, I want a little extra reinforcement. I want a somewhat stronger adhesive. So this time I'm going to use my tearing tape, flip the saying over, and you're just going to put tape on the back side to make sure it stays put. It's pressure released, so there you are. Tear off the rest, like so. And then we're going to place the saying approximately here and again this part is going to be left loose so it holds the flap down and lastly we're going to use Stampin' Dimensionals on the steak itself and they look like this this is a fresh pack so I like to bend them a little bit just so that they're easier to grab and then you take one or two I'm going to take two just to make sure it stays put they're two-sided and I place them on the back side of my little steak like so. There are lids on top, so just peel off those lids. And then we place stake, like so. So now you have this fun card, but of course we need a saying on the inside. This piece is daffodil, again. And what we're going to do is we're going to stamp a saying on there, and you can use any Happy Father's Day saying. Today, I'm going to use the one from Guide Greetings, which I love, because it is a photopolymer stamp, I need to put down my foam mat on here, and I'm going to again use the black ink for that. So I'm going to tap, 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 and then stamp the saying straight down and lift straight up. All right, we have a happy Father's Day. I would love to introduce you to our lovely new tag punch. It is available in the new catalog. And what's cool about it is, is it does two different end shapes. And you can do a total of six different sizes if you would like. They start from half inch, three quarters inch, all the way up to one inch. And it has really cool edges. So all we're going to do is to take this you want to open up the punch by sliding this forward, and that's how it punches. I slide my tag in and give it a punch, and you get this really cool tab. We're going to do the same to the other side. And when you're done, we have something that looks like this. Happy Father's Day. Isn't that great? We're going to go ahead and put a piece of tape on the back side, or if you want, you can use the mini dimensionals as well. And we're going to open up that card again and place our saying on the inside. And there you have it. A fun, cool, fun fold for our Father's Day. Card with a double flap. 
All right, let's set that aside. And I want to show you another fun fold. I want to introduce you to another color. So here's the card, the base card that we're going to be playing with. As one example, this one opens up like that. Isn't that fun? This is our Just Jade color. We're going to use the border technique again. I did have cr crushed curry on it, so I need to wash off that ink color. This time I'm using my Versamark ink pad. Now I love the Versamark pad because you can use this ink pad on any color cardstock and it just makes the image show up as one shade deeper, so like a watermark. So I'm going to tap, 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 and I'm just going to dance some along the side edges. We're making two borders. There's the first one, and when I hold it up, you can see it's a very subtle watermark color. If you want something less subtle, you can actually use Tone on Tone, which would be using the Just Jade color on the Just Jade paper. But as of right now, we do not have the new ink, ink colors, so we will do this instead and still produce this really cool pattern on the edges. So that's our card base. All right, so set that aside. This card starts out very similar to the last one. We're going to take our white card stock and fold it in half. This time, we're going to use again our barbecue set. So for larger stamps, you can also put the stamp face up on a surface and tap, tap, tap. And that really gives you good ink control and you can see how much ink you're applying on there. So I use the two techniques interchangeably. We're going to go ahead and place our barbecue on that. Stamp one, two, three, and lift. And there's your barbecue. We're going to use the same technique as we did before. And we're just going to add our little note there. All right, but this time we're going to do a saying. Now, we're going to use pineapple as the pineapple punch. This is a beautiful bright yellow, and it's retiring. So if you love this color, you'll want to grab that before it's all gone. I cut out a stitched circle using this fantastic fun set. It's called Stitched Shapes, and what I love about it is, is that it has nested shapes in ovals, circles, and squares. You have four of each, and each of them have this wonderful, unique stitch pattern around the edge. So it's lots of fun and very easy to play with. We're going to go ahead and take the saying from the stamp set. It says, holy smokes, it's your birthday. And we're going to pick that up and use our basic black memento ink again. Tap, tap, tap. And stamp it on that circle. Holy smokes, it's your birthday. Now for fun though, we're also going to take the little flame from the set. And I'm going to use it with crushed curry. But I want to make the flame not just yellow like that. I want to give it a little red. So we're going to take that red dauber, tap it in the red ink, and just give it a little touch along the side. And I'll show you what that looks like here. We're going to put it here on the hostess code. Isn't that fun? So you've got some yellow with red. We're going to do it again here. Let me stamp off the extra. So pick up the curry and tap just a little red along the edge. And this time I want to do it on the stitched circle. So there's a little touch there. And then I'm going to do the same again. So each time you do want to take off the extra color so that we don't put the red in our crushed curry pad. Tap, tap, tap. And maybe the one along here. So we have some flames going on. All right. I want to figure out where I want that to be. So before I place my um, red barbecue down, I want to tuck that in. 
somewhere around there. All right, we're going to go ahead and use your favorite adhesive to put the stitched circle straight onto the card. And then once we have that on there, we're going to take the barbecue piece and use our mini Stampin' Dimensionals to pop them off a wee bit. So I just take and put them on there. As you can see, there's two sides to every paper, so I can stamp on my scraps if I make a mistake, asking how I know that. And then you're going to take the lids off each of those Stampin' Dimensionals to reveal the sticky part. And we're going to cover the barbecue right back up. So again, to give it that little spring of color. I love how the red picks up the red from the flames. Holy smokes, it is your birthday. All right, on the inside of the card, we want to give a little fun accent. So I'm going to take the ketchup which has crushed curry on it right now, so we want to wash that off. Tap, tap, tap in the real red. Actually, you know what? I usually do the center image first, so I wanted to do a piece of steak in the center. There's my steak. There we go. Now we'll do a, a little bit of ketchup on the side, and it doesn't even have to be straight. And lastly, I want to take my piece of corn and have that sitting. So we have a little decoration on the inside. All right, let's go ahead and layer that up. We're going to take our image and layer it onto a piece of basic black. Now we're not going to put the black down just yet because I want to add a fun flap to make it a, a to hold down the flap. So to do that, I'm taking my Daffodil Delight and it's been scored one inch in from the edge. And I'm simply going to take that same saying again, a dad like you use rare. And we're going to stamp it down. This time we want to stamp it close to the edge where the fold is. So when you're done, it looks something like this. And remember we have this little arm that's folded back that was scored at one inch from the edge. What we're going to do when we go to put our card together is we actually want to fold this up and attach or we'll put tape on the back side. So again, this is going to be a point of pressure or um, tension. It's going to be open and closed a lot. So I'm going back in again with my tearing tape, which I love using. So I see the bend and I'm just going to touch and hold that run my finger across and then just tear. And I'm going to use two pieces just to make sure it's not going anywhere. Again, this is pressure release. So I'm just going to run my fingers across and you can use your fingernail or your take a pick tool to get the peel the lids off. All right, now we're going to put our card together. I'm going to center my piece here. And I'm going to tuck this behind, but don't put it down until you're happy with where you want it to be. So I'm centering the saying from end to end, centering it right to left a little bit here. And maybe I'll put it about here. So it's even from left to right. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and press that down. All right, we still have to put adhesive on the back of our black piece. And then you'll simply lift that lid, center it left to right on the Just Jade cardstock, which is gorgeous. By the way, jade is one of my favorite stones, and so for the occasion, I wore a beautiful jade bracelet that my mother gave me on my 40th birthday, just so that we match. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put that up and over. We're gonna grab a piece of steak that we've stamped and cut out just like before. We use our dimensionals just like before. Now my only tip is on this one, we want to make sure that the steak does not end up on the back card. So to make sure that happens, I'm going to go ahead and put one piece of dimensional on the yellow flap and the other piece just at the base of the steak. 
and then we stick it down. Now again, if you think that's a little bit too long, you can take and do a little angular trim just like we did before. So we have our Just Jade card with the retiring Pineapple Punch cardstock using the same idea. Another fun, versatile idea you can do is if you want to use the saying for other people, you can actually stamp the saying on a piece of regular paper, just uh, this, your scrap again. And this time, you might want to say, a friend like you is rare. So here's an example. Just to make this easy, I've gone ahead and cut up the stamped piece into little bits and stamped a friend by simply taking the saying, washing it off to make sure that there's no ink on it, and you can use a marker to ink up just the A, like so, and stamp it on the cardstock, one, two, three. And then you can use any saying, because we have a lot of sayings I know. Um, this friend happens to come from uh, snow front, but I know there are word sayings that say brother, mother, dad, sister, so it could be anyone. And we're going to take this, put it on a clear block, and because you can see through it, you can just place this. And when you take scissors and cut these up in little parts, it looks like this. So you have even more versatility out of the same set. Lastly, I want to share with you one more card that I made, another fun fold variation that we'll probably do in class, I hope, very soon. I'm highlighting the new colors. So we've got Misty Moonlight paired with our Bumblebee. But all of, and then this one folds up like that. So another fun fold. You can have a lot of fun with these little flap cards. I want to show you the dimensions for the Just Jade card that we just did. Thanks so much for watching. If you need supplies, please go to my website and use the hostess code shown at the top of this page if you do not already have a demonstrator. If you enjoyed the cards and techniques, please like this video by clicking the thumbs up below the screen, or you can click the red subscribe button to be notified when I do my next video. I'll be doing a new catalog launch online sharing new ideas and toys and tips. See you then.